everybody has that show that always comes up in their mind whenever they think of their childhood whether it be like anime or just tv in general today i'll be talking more on the facet of cartoons so not like anime because if i was that, that can have that, that that's gonna have its own whole video to itself by the way if there's a topic that you guys want me to talk about there's like a load that i've got in my it's in my book there's like guilty pleasure songs uh bloody favorite animes childhood games there, there's a whole list if you guys want to want me to talk about a certain topic just put it in the comments and i'll get to it but today today's topic is favorite childhood shows i'm not really going to be doing like a big synopsis of you know all these shows it's just going to be naming them remembering them and maybe talking about them a couple points and depending on what the show meant to me i might actually talk about it more in depth but the first one on my <laughs> long list of uh contenders is number one is bakugan now i don't know if many people remember bakugan you'll probably maybe remember the intro and remember the characters once you see them but Bakugan's kind of like it's kind of like a monster blade like Beyblade kind of thing you literally just throw down like what they call a gate card and then you just throw a monster on and then you battle using ability cards you know whoever comes on top wins this show meant a lot I, I watched it heaps I it took a while for me to actually watch the latest show which was back on destroyer and there's like more and then they made a reboot which is shit i don't like these reboots but back on is super dope and if you guys never got to experience it as a kid you need to right the fuck now get onto that back on is awesome it's awesome right and there's a back on game as well it's literally the same name as the actual uh, show back on battle brawlers that game is goaded okay i love that game and that will come <laughs> that game will come up in the childhood game uh topic anyway the next one i got on my live uh next one i've got on my list is beyblade everyone remembers Bay beyblade some <laughs> if you couldn't afford beyblade you literally you just get like a spin top or just like a how i used to do it um in primary school if you couldn't like get a beyblade we'll get bottle caps because you just go get them out like the recycling shit you grab them get your bottle cap and you know you can use like a uh for a ripper some people got like uh pretty inventive when it came to stuff like this they played when i was a kid just made everyone into just <laughs> dr stone bro everyone's just being inventive super super creative i remember one uh because he it was uh it's a he used an orange juice bottle because the cap came with like a, um, a plastic thing that was like a circle and then had like a um a draw line come a draw line coming off of it so it was kind of he could kind of like use it as a ripper to act as you know the actual thing that shoots a blade blade off because i mean you're in primary school and you you know not all of us have everything so we use bottle caps some people have Beyblades, some people have bottle caps. That is what it does. Just use anything to play Beyblade. I'm pretty sure that everyone's done something similar to that. There's no way. There's no way. You're, you're capping if you if you if, if you say you didn't do anything like that. You definitely did. Stop capping. The next one on my left is Ben 10. I'm seeing kind of like a theme with these. It's just bees first it's not in alphabetical order i swear ben 10 though man i love the show ben 10 there was ben 10 on me verse and then there's one there's one after that i forgot multiverse something like that but i'm specifically more talking about the original ben 10 this, this was just awesome show. I'm not even, not even gonna lie. I don't have too many points about it. It was just awesome, you know, a watch that turns you into alien species and just, just like the the alien forms that you turn into, like uh, some of them 
some of them suck like stink fly gray matter would be kind of annoying wild mutt but then you have like heat blast forearms cannonball you know you, it's <laughs> they're cool man they're cool it's literally just alien i mean there's no way he two you guys have definitely watched watched uh ben 10 more than probably back or gone ben 10's iconic the watch is just super dope it's super clean it's not like overly complicated it's just a normal watch that just literally just turn the dial and then you know switch for the aliens the characters all got some sort of like background to them it wasn't always about ben 10 there's also other universes where you know the characters also like uh gwen obviously his sister got the army tricks instead of ben then uncle max got it as well stuff like that and we also get to see behind the scenes uncle max's old days when he was a plumber quote unquote plumber because he wasn't even note plumbing but yeah bent in man goaded the next one i carly this one is super iconic and it's actually kind of kind of awkward time for i carly bring that up because of that uh dan schneider incident that just came out i think his name's dan schneider the thing that literally just came out to where uh yeah, he might have been touching a bit touchy touchy with his uh with his <laughs> young very very young cast we'll just we'll just skip over that i carly just has so many iconic moments and just iconic characters Honestly, my two favorite characters would be Spencer and Gibby. Or oh, Gibby! Gibby's a, he's just iconic. And he was also fat as shit. Just like I was. Fat as shit, confident. Spencer was just dumbass. He was a lover. He was always just, you know, that comic relief that you need. It wasn't like overly, you know, comic relief. But you, you can definitely tell that he was uh, made for comic relief. And he was really good at it. The cast, the cool cast was also just really good, you know, Sam, obviously, um, Carly, and then, I, f I think his name's Fred, cameraman. The whole cast was just good, I like, it was kind of weird going into that era where Sam and Fred end up kind of being, uh, kind of being like, girlfriend, boyfriend, or love interest, it was just a whole lot of weird shit. Whole lot of weird shit. Avatar The Last Airbender I remember on it was the shit it was the shits and gig podcast right so I was sitting there listening because after 10 o'clock at work we can put on our earbuds and then just listen to music or podcast so I put on shits and gig podcast and then they start talking about Avatar and how there's going to be apparently if this is true because it might just be some cuzzy upload some random shit there's gonna be like a lot of books and movies coming out in the next two years i don't know if that's true hopefully it is avatar super dope i think when i originally watched avatar i didn't actually get to the end i because from my memory i'm pretty sure i ended up searching up uh ang versus the fire lord obviously at the end of the show and that's the only memory I have of the ending of the show I I don't really recall when I fell off in that show honestly if I was to take a guess I think it was when Zuko kind of became part of the team like a full-fledged part of the team I think that's really or maybe just before that I I just know that Aang was uh, being taught firebending by Zuko and burnt Katara. I don't know how far into the story that was, but it was around around that kind of time. Yeah, around that time. And like the whole Azula thing. That's the last thing I remember. But yeah, good show. Loved it. Don't really got much to say. Uh, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo's just, you know, just a childhood classic. I mean, everyone knows Scooby Doo. Um, my, uh, what was the show called? I think it's Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. 
it was like the more modern show i think it came out in like 2010 era i like that one the best i don't really like the original scooby-doo i can't even lie scooby-doo is literally just a mystery you know mystery show there's not much to it good cast and i just like the show growing up not much to say spongebob for a lot of people this is a very defining defining cartoon this is like one of the you know ogs one of the goats when it comes to cartoons i like spongebob but when i was born i was born in 2003 i don't know where like the writing started to kind of go off the railing but when i started watching it like spongebob was pretty all right to me obviously they'll come out with um old episodes but once you know i got old enough to watch tv consistently it just uh I like watching it but it wasn't at like the top of my priorities when it came to shows I want to watch. There's so many other shows that I liked. Yeah, Spongebob just, you know, an OG a goat. Not much to say. Adventure Time. This is getting more to the kind of later stages of childhood. I think I started watching Adventure Time around 10 years old, I believe. Sometime around then. Oh, I, I basically watched it as soon as it came out because I mean it came up Cartoon Network and I was just watching Cartoon Network all the time either that or Nickelodeon I wasn't watching Disney I'm, I'm not a Disney kid to be honest but yeah Adventure Time man just vibes with your dogs and just very weird concepts just <laughs> just very weird concepts fucking a dog and a unicorn having babies and they just have very weird powers Jake having the powers to enlarge himself, unicorns just being unicorns, and their kids age faster than he does. Some of them are literally have kids of their own. Adventure Time was just such a vibe, and then it got into the lore was so deep, and like I don't even, I don't know where it just became a lot deeper than what it used to be. Like it used to just be all fun and games, and then the lich comes around and all these and globe and shit. I think his name is Glob. I'm just thinking of the, the YouTuber Glob, the one that does fucking AR voices SpongeBob. It's like Gorb or Glob, something like that. Regular show. The, I can't even like. This is one of my favorite shows of all time. I just watched it so much. It was kind of like around the same time I was watching Adventure Time. Adventure Time, regular show. And then like Amazing World of Gumball, but I was more of a regular show person. I can't lie, I wouldn't say I related to Mortal Kombat Ruby because <laughs> even as a kid, I just knew they were shit guns. Let's be honest. Like they were just shit guns. And I would be pissed off if I had to be around them. Because they're always doing some dumb shit. Like I, I break stuff, but they if you go tell them to go clean the boats, they'll end up losing the boats because they did a bit with like a cyclops or some shit and the cyclops takes the fucking boats to like his home world and then Nordica Ruby had to go bloody race to win the boats back it's always some plot like that and then by the end the I like the actual part comes out the ground becomes a floating island fucking all the enemy like I remember once there was this highway and um this Kazi's son bought the highway. The second like enemy's son, I forgot his name. He bought the highway so he could bring all the villains back that they fought and they all had a battle. And then at the end, Pops had like an evil brother that he ended up fighting. Fighting and just sacrificing himself for the park. It's just a whole, like, if you've seen the ending, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm very bad when it comes to talk you know topics like this i don't know what to say i'm just just sporadic you know me bro you know me i'm just sporadic all over the place but that whole ending was like what the fuck and then at the end you know everyone's happy together they do one last wall and then all of a sudden you see parts pulling out his little cassette just saying good show jolly good show oh my phineas and ferb I don't even know what to really say. It's just a good show, honestly. I think I'd go crazy if I ever had their 104 days of summer vacation because it 
it's literally just forever and they just don't grow up half the time like obviously by the end i've seen the ending they grow up but all the all the shit that they go through i have no idea how they have blown up the planet for a period the platypus is a go-to character i just want to add that and also the creator i forgot his name he makes a lot of tiktoks and like a lot of reaction videos he's a really good fella i love his tiktoks he seems like a good kazi so i just wanted to add a for him for a good show total drama island this is the first one they made heat to total drama islands but the one that i love the most is the og is the og it's like um what's the show that it's like it's literally just kind of like a parody of a parody of uh oh, what's the shows called it's like those survival shows where they just take you to an island and then you vote people off it, it just feels like a parody there's so many diverse characters there's so many like smart characters and you came to like the the malicious slash evil ones like there's people like duncan there's like Gwyn, trent Lindsay and all of them there's so many different characters it's all diverse they all have their own thing harold harold's like <laughs> lashana as well lashana was done wrong in total drama island i might just be saying random characters to you but if you if you know the show goaded the host chris is psychotic like psychotic to his core then you got chef like cousin ain't any better any better than chris he's literally allowing allowing the cousin to just literally just torture people and he just doesn't give a shit i don't know what the fuck's up with him i don't know oh chowder chowder is just when i look back the show looks the show just looks so dumb the, the show just looks so dumb but there's just something that i always liked about it it never took itself too seriously it was kind of like a really obscure cooking show you know just a furry cooking show the og furries and yeah i don't really get to the ending i don't know how it ended but eh, yeah good show johnny test jesus christ johnny test i watched so many episodes of this I don't know why, but Cartoon Network endlessly played replays of Johnny Test. I don't know because they ran out of like other shows or Johnny Test is like the only show that <laughs> that gave the rights to just, just keep up. I don't know why I saw so many Johnny Test episodes. There'll just be like two hour marathons on Cartoon Network in my country. And I'm just there like, who? Well, I mean, I can't say who the fuck's watching that because i was i was watching that i love johnny tess it's just literally just wacky experiments on fucking johnny half the time he you know he either it's either johnny being a guinea pig for the sisters the sisters trying to you know gloat on gil they <laughs> they try to do all their little plans being bunnies being babies turning themselves into vampires doing some shit some something about bling bling you know, bling bling boy, that fucking fat, <sighs> fat short ass fag. Oh my god, bling bling boy is just. Sometimes I feel bad for him, but you know, other times I'm just like, because he just deserved it. Because he just deserved it. Gil is just just a literal Chad, and a dumbass. Like he's just. We all know, we all know a girl in our lives. There's no way you cousins don't. If you say you don't, you're lying. You're just trying to, you know, keep someone's feelings intact. You don't want to be, you know. Everyone has knows a girl in their life. Um, the fairy, oh, the fairy odd pant. Fee, I'm having a bit of a spaz here. The fairy odd, fairly odd parents. Ah, uh, like this is a childhood show to me. Now, when I look back at it, it's like an alright show. It's not really my thing. Now that I think about it, I just kind of watched it just because sometimes it wasn't any other show. It was good though, but <laughs> later on when they bring in the 
the dog. Like, when Poof came in, you know, the baby was like, okay, I guess that's all right. But then the dog came in, which keep breaking rules. Because if the fairies wouldn't do it, the dog would. And then they end up bringing in that uh, next door neighbor. Who now, because there's a fairy, sh like fairy, sh um, now that th there's a fairy shortage. Bro, what is up with me? Why am I just spazzing? Now that there's a fairy sh shortage, they had to share fairies. Nah, dumb. They lost me then. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bro. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles just dope, bro. Come on. Four, you know, four awesome looking turtles. Com in the comments down below, tell me who your favorite turtle was. Mine was always... Mine was always Donatello. He was always just goofy, you know, never serious, always, you know, trying to have fun. And his nunchucks are just awesome. Like, even in Fortnite, because I do have a skin in Fortnite, because he's my favorite one, I love his nunchucks. His weapon of choice is just. Bro, I just love nunchucks. Even though if I ever try to use them, I'll smack the shit out of myself. So, I ain't never using nunchucks. But he's awesome. He is definitely awesome. The character, just the enemies as well. Shredder as a villain is just top 10 villains in my opinion. Shredder is just such a good, he came in so many different forms. Hanzo Hasashi, Cyber Shredder, the true Shredder. Like with all the, all the bullshit powers and all that. There's just so many versions of Shredder. And especially when they got into... Ah, uh, what was it? Oh, I don't remember. But there's also stories like Last Ronin, where um, like all the other turtles, except for Donatello, uh, not Donatello, Michelangelo survives, and he ends up becoming like the most skilled out of all of them because after his, you know, everyone's dead, all of his family's dead, even Master Splinter, he now becomes the serious, hardened, you know, fighter. Because now, everything that basically bring him happiness is gone. All his brothers are gone. Master's gone. And now he has to toughen up. And you know, he puts in work. He puts in work. It's it's, it's sad to think that it was uh, because of, you know, what happened. But it is what it is, you know. Can't do anything about it. Sad times. I think this I'll make this my last one because this video is going for too long. There's so many shows I want to talk about, you know, very briefly, but it's hard to get to all of them. If there's make sure to put your shows that you liked in the comments below. Because there's so many shows. So many shows. It's, and since, you know, there's there's different like uh people who watch our videos, like there's that different age groups. So your childhood your childhood like shows might be different to mine even though I've definitely probably watched quite a few of the shows especially if they were like early 2000s to like the early 2010s maybe till about 2015 or 16 because 2017 on I basically just started watching anime only the last one I want to talk about is Big Time Rush BTR I can't even lie I only want to put them in here because they'll link to another video of Guilty Pleasure songs. I just love the music from BTR. Like, it was not only just a show, it was an actual group as well. They released really, like, good music. I just love so many of them. Like, I had to try to narrow down the list that I got for them. Because in my Guilty Pleasure songs, I don't want to have too many, like, too many songs that come from the same group you know i want variety but btr just as a show and as a group i love the i love the music the plots were just you know the plots it's just a nickelodeon show i watch plot it's just bro it's just vibes and music how can you not love it very good music at that i love listening to it <laughs> just on my headphones just by myself this vibe to it, you know, vibe to a lot of songs like um, uh, Around the World and uh, 
boyfriend, not know them, any kind of guy, stuff like that. You gotta love it. You got you. You just gotta love it. But anyway, I won't take up any more of you guys' time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to put down in the in the comments. Put your childhood shows, your favorite one overall, if you have one. And if you guys have any other topics, like I said at the beginning of the video, that you want me to talk about, it could be anything, really. Obviously, I want it to be more lighthearted, not like politics and stuff. I'm not really into all that kind of stuff. Just kind of goofy topics like guilty pleasure songs, childhood games, favorite animes, stuff like that. Stuff to kind of just get to know me. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. Just put stuff like that in the comments. You know, it'll, let me, uh, it'll allow me to get to know you guys and, you know, allow you guys to know more about me. So yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your night, day, wherever you are in the world. Peace.